up guys? Going over tomorrow's workout Friday. Woo. All right, warm up's gonna start with five burpees. Chest to floor, pop up, clap above your head. After that, we're gonna do some hip and ankle stretches. So going into a deep lunge, um, drive that knee out to the side over your little toe, and then taking some time to go over your big toe, using your body to try and push that knee forward. We'll do both sides, and then we'll drop down and do um, half pigeon for our hips. So try and get that front shin perpendicular with your body, sitting up, and then maybe even laying down, moving around, just getting a good stretch all in there. All right, after that, we're gonna do 10 body weight squats. So toe out, knees out, drop the hips, keep that chest up, think about squeezing your core, and then squeezing your glutes on the way up. After that, we're gonna do five hip swings. So for those who do not have, Pull bar, maybe we'll, maybe that'll look like doing like hollow rocks. So getting into a hollow rock position, feet together, hands above your head, doing little rocks, trying to keep that low back in contact with the floor, shoulder blades off the ground. Five pull ups or bent over rows. So either using a barbell, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, nice flat back, rowing up, elbows tracked back, squeezing your shoulder blades at the top. And then five toes to bar. Uh, modification for toes to bar would be a V up on your back again, coming up and either tapping your mid shin, ankles, or shoelaces. All right, then we're gonna go into some barbell warm up. So grabbing that barbell, you put it on your front rack. We're gonna knock out five front squats. So keeping those elbows nice and high, driving the knees out, try and keep that chest up. Five front squats followed by four front rack lunges. So total, so two per side. Making sure that heel stays loaded. And then we're gonna do Bergner for the clean. We're doing clean and jerk today. So Alex is starting mid shin, back is nice and tight. All he's gonna do is the focus right now on the shrug. So keeping that bar close, making sure he brings it into his hips and he shrugs. After he does a couple of those, we'll go into a shrug and a pull. So shrug, then pull. And then we'll do a couple muscle cleans. So all the way up, one extension. Good. And then we'll do uh, some presses. So keep that bar on your back, or I'm sorry, <laughs> on your front rack. And so here he's doing overhead presses for a couple, squeezing his uh, glutes and his core is nice and tight. Then he'll go into push press where he drives that knee out, follows through with his arms, driving that head through, and then a couple jerks. So dip, drive the bar up, and pressing that head through, and then maybe even a couple split jerks. So same thing, and then recovering. So going into that split stance and then recovering. All right, then we're gonna do three clean and jerks. So again, our focus today is clean and jerk. So he did one full clean, followed by one jerk, standing nice and tall. And then we'll also do a power clean. As another example, you guys can do either or, catching it a little bit higher and then doing a power jerk or push jerk. Okay, so our strength tomorrow is clean and jerks. We are on week two of six. Alex just showed you a couple variations. You guys have a choice to do either squat clean or a power clean. Um, jerks can be either push jerks or uh, split jerks. So he's doing a power clean and a push jerk. So that is our focus tomorrow. Six sets of one working up to 70 to 80%. And once you get to that working weight, you guys are doing four sets there of that working weight. So 20 minutes. For those of you who are, are at home and don't have a barbell, we're gonna do five sets of five dumbbell sumo deadlift high pulls. So just like a clean, keeping that weight close, going into the shrug and the pull. Then he's gonna do five dumbbell cleans either from the outside or if you want to go to the inside, clean. Five for arm and then five dumbbell shoulder overhead. Shoulder overhead is either press, push press, push jerk, depending on what weight you have at home. And then last, we're gonna do three sets of five clean and jerks. So here, same thing, you can either do a squat clean, stop and then jerk, or you can do a power clean, catching a little higher and a jerk. All right, so that is our at-home stuff for tomorrow. Our workout is 15 minutes long. It is called hold on. Ooh. So catch is 
if you drop the bar or drop the movement at all during the time of the 50 minutes, you gotta do 30 uh, double unders. So you're gonna start off with 65 power, hang power cleans. The weight should be relatively light. Alex deadlifts that bar up above his knee and from there he is going to perform 65 power cleans. He's going, he's trying to get as many as he can because once he drops it, oh no, he's gotta do 30 double unders. So after he gets his 30 double unders, he'll get the bar back up and he'll finish the 65 reps. After 65 power cleans, same thing, except we're going into front squats. So 65 front squats with that same weight. Keeping the elbows high, once he stops, again, 30 double unders. After that, 65 pull-ups. He comes down from the pull-up bar, 30 double unders. Uh, modification is bent over rows for that portion for the pull-ups. Backing it up a little bit. Uh, dumbbell bent over row as well. Um, and then for the front squat, you guys would be doing like a dumbbell front squat whether it's in that position or holding it with your hand. And then the hang power clean, same thing from the hang, basically a curl. Um, all right, after the pull-ups, we're gonna go into 65 front rack lunges. Modification, if you don't have a bar, is holding that weight in the front rack, whether it's a kettlebell, a wall wall, a dumbbell. And then for those of you who are in the gym tomorrow, here are your front rack lunges. Um, didn't specify, oh yeah, I didn't specify. Okay, so you guys can go forward or back, either one. So 65 total uh, lunges, and then last but not least, 65 toes to bar. And again, if you don't have a bar to hang from, you are doing VFs. So again, throughout all of these movements, anytime you stop before rest, or drop down from the bar, or drop the weight, you gotta complete 30 double unders, right? 15 minutes to get through it. Can't wait to see how you guys do. Um, we've been starting to kind of get filled up a little bit with some classes. However, there's a lot that still have room. Specifically, the 12 p.m. often has a lot of slots, the 3 p.m. and the 6.30. So if you are having a hard time getting in, those would be ones to shoot for. And yeah, yeah. enjoy the rain. It's kind of actually nice having our yard get watered. So Ooh. anyways, we love you guys and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, Bye guys. guys.